Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Today we'll look at 2023 World Champion Maizaradzi. This is actually one of my favorite epons from him. But surprisingly, I hadn't done a video on him before, so I learned a lot of stuff in this. He's got a pretty simple game, a really interesting Osotogari that he does, and he kind of has variations off that, so we'll talk about that. Also, we'll have a look at that crazy technique that won him the World Championships against Beka Udi. I'm seeing a lot of people just trying it. I see it on Instagram all the time. I actually saw it in the dojo the other day. Didn't get a score, but still, people are bringing it back. It's an old technique called Wakare. This is it here. But I think Maizaradze winning in a final like this against Beka Udi, people are starting to look at this technique and think, well, I'm going to try that too. So, if you didn't know, Maizaradze, he's done this before. And you can kind of see him thinking about it here in this Osotogari technique. Before he switches his feet, here he was thinking about it, and then he went for the Osotogari. But in this next clip, you'll see him do it. You can see the low posture of DeWitt here, and this time he went through the legs, which is quite interesting. That clip against Beka Udi, he was going on the outside, almost kind of landing on top of his opponent's leg. But So I'll play these two clips for you guys side by side. You can have a look at just how he does them. I definitely think the, the version against Beka Udi is the better of the two. Kind of compromising that leg a little bit on the way down. But anyway guys, that's the technique. Wakare, maybe Yoko Wakare. I definitely think we'll see it more on the international scene. So thanks to Maizaradzi for that one. Also, I didn't know this, but this is Gregor Lajvili against Maizaradzi at under 81. And Maizaradzi, he used to compete at under 81. So these two have fought several times and at that time... Maizaradzi, he got the better of the two contests. Here's the next one coming up from the Junior World Championships in 2018. Now the two of them, two to three years difference between their age. I know Gregor Lashvili's 23. Right now Maizaradzi, he's 25. But I think Gregor Lashvili just recently turned 23. Anyway, just at these junior competitions, a couple of years can really make a difference. And I think Maizaradzi, I mean, he was just more of an adult maybe. And you can definitely tell when you're fighting high level competition like this in your youth for Gregor Lashvili, you can totally understand why he is world champion at the moment. So we'll go through his Ippons kind of a little bit chronologically. And this is that Osotogari I was talking about. Awkward grip over the back. I guess you'd call it a Georgian grip. But you can just see the tenacity and a lot of people they would have given up or lost position. He is a master of this position and getting an Osotogari from here. Any direction you go, he can generally follow with you and turn it into a haraigoshi, into some kind of makikomi, or just finish the osotogari. But the initial grip, that grip, cross grip over the back, kind of reaching down for the belt sometimes, don't try and copy it. I mean, these guys are specialists. Every time you see someone do this on the international scene, except someone who's Georgian, usually they get picked up with a front uchimata and get dumped, or an uranage or something. These guys are specialists, they know what they're doing, it's a risky grip, except when you're in the case of these guys, this, this specialist grip that they are taking, they know exactly what to do with it, and how to defend as well as how to attack. Case in point, this one here, I mean look at that grip and go, but a grip and go off that sort of a grip, I mean you can just tell he's so used to it, knows exactly what he's doing, and to be able to generate the sort of power from that position is incredible. Nice Uchimata here, off the belt grip. And we saw him throw Gregor Lashvili with this earlier on in the video. I think he would probably avoid this technique. You can see the head touching the mat there. These days, gotta watch out for that, but it's not his main Tokui Waza. That's definitely the Osotogari off the back cross grip and all the variations from it. But anyway, I don't want to give you guys the impression that Maizoradzi is a little bit of a one trick pony. With his also Tugari. So we'll look at some other techniques. Especially being a world champion, you need more tools in the toolkit. I think was it last year we had Toroboya from Uzbekistan, he was world champion. Just kind of had that one awkward Uchimata Makikomi that he did. Not a lot of variation from him. But Maizaradzi, he's got a lot of tools. So this one here, Uchimata Skashi, I think there's two in this video. Really good awareness to get that technique. This one here. Front Uchimata, Yagura, as they like to call it here in Japan. 
And this here kind of emphasizes the point I brought up about a minute ago. Taking a cross grip over the back like that, it's a risky move. Most people get picked up and counted, unless they're Georgian. Here's another example. So Maizadazi, I mean we just saw the Yagura. And now he turns it into an Ochigari. And watch his posture. As that arm goes over the top, he just stands up. And it puts him in a really neutral position. He's either going to go for the Yagura, go for the Ochigari. He's just kind of watching, reacting. High level stuff. Left fist right now. Awkward grip around the around the shoulder and just sensational Ashiwaza. There was that one Ashiwarai in the beginning of this video. Not a lot of Ashiwaza, but he does use it in his contests a lot to kind of set up things, especially this Kosoto Ashiwarai. These things on the right side. I mean, that's a sensational piece of Ashiwaza. Here's another example Dewitt, big cross grip over the top. And he just gets countered with something similar to a front Uchimata, but Maizorazi's right knee countering the Kochi Makikomi from DeWitt. Sensational stuff. And here we are, back, back to it again. The Osotogari Makikomi kind of situation. I mean, he's so good at this. And actually, the only other person who I can think of who does this consistently is Abe Uta. But she does it with her Uchimata. I think she does have an Osotogari as well, but mainly it's the Uchimata. And she's starting to use that grip as well. Another variation here. This time, loses the grip, but just so strong on that sleeve grip and able to drop his weight on top of it. Here's another one. This one, just incredible. Takes a grip off, takes a cross grip. And I saw Grigalashvili do something similar, that kind of similar cross grip with the sleeve and then the arm coming across grabbing the tricep. Grigalashvili did a similar technique, almost looked like a Yama Arashi. I guess maybe a Surigoshi is probably the best technique name to give it, even though with the grips as they were, it was kind of awkward. Go have a look at my Grigalashvili World Champion video, it's in there. Here he is again. A little bit of Ashiwaza to start it up. There's that shoulder grip again. We just saw a nice piece of Ashiwaza off that shoulder grip. But this time, I mean, look at the, the tension he's got on it. Huge hook onto the knee. I mean, his Osotogari, it's incredibly hard to stop. And this time we're seeing an opposite technique from him. Not really one to go in the opposite direction. A Seuyo Toshi. Into a Kesagatame. And this is against Dewitt again. I think Dewitt, he's been thrown by Maizadazi three times in this video. Not a good matchup, I think. Tall and lanky. And Maizadazi, he loves these kind of close range pickup techniques as well as his Osotogari. And here it is again. I mean, it's just a piece of beauty every time I see it. But as I said earlier on, guys, do not try and copy this. This is hard. I mean, you can copy it if you want, but you really need to make it kind of your own little tokui waza. Here's a lovely kosoto again. You can see him looking for it there. Gives him something to think about on the other side. And then I learned this the other day, or rather I was reminded of it the other day. Ashiwaza, kosoto, kochi. It's all about the shoulders, putting pressure on people's shoulders, making their shoulders go up or down on either side. Really nice tip. Anyway guys, this one here, a wazari, leading into a bit of newaza, and then I put my favorite ippon at the end again, why not? I hope you've liked and subscribed to the video. Uh, some interesting things coming soon. I'm gonna start selling kuzakura gis coming soon. And if you want to become a channel member, there's always that option. It's just a few dollars a month, and I'm gonna Give a discount to the geese that I sell from Kuzakura to the channel members. Just as some kind of benefit for you guys. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.